Your Excellencies, dear delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is both a great pleasure and honor and privilege to be here with you. On behalf of the Republic of Poland, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the government of United Arab Emirates for hosting this spectacular event. And let me also express my, uh, my journey appreciation to the current ITU management board. Um, it's been really a pleasure to, to work and to, to cooperate with you throughout the last term. Ladies and gentlemen, this year, many European countries celebrate its centenary, 100 years of its independence. We are having as Poland hours on 11th November, so it's just less than, within less than a fortnight. And this is, of course, an opportunity to look into the past, but in case of Poland, it's also a chance, uh, we treat it as a chance to, uh, to, build, to build a better future. And this future can be based on digital foundations. Polish government has launched a 100 megabits for 100th anniversary program with an aim to connect all public schools to high-speed broadband internet. This means encompassing over 25,000 schools in more than 19,000 locations. And this is our flagship project because we think this is the way to combat digital divide and build bases for inclusive society and economic growth. This project includes also a school network element, cybersecurity support and technical maintenance. In a few days' time, during this conference, we also discuss artificial intelligence. This is one of the buzzwords of the day. As the developments in this area can bring major improvements to our lives, but can cause also some uncertainty to others. Poland has taken a proactive approach in this field. We have engaged all stakeholders groups in a bottom-up process in a goal to delve into all relevant aspects of data, um, research and development, education and ethics. We need to be well prepared to reap all the benefits and understand all possible risks that are connected to this topic. One distinctive feature of our approach is to focus on developing skills, both at the early stages of education and as lifelong learning for current employees. No wonder I will recall also the coming 5G revolution. Together with ITU, WHO and GSMA, we are working on the topic of electromagnetic fields, a crucial component for future 5G networks. Lack of in-depth understanding of the impact of modern mobile technologies on human health fuels prejudice. And our series of international conferences coupled with ITUT report aim at breaking this deadlock. In order to bring affordable telecommunication and ICT services to all, we are actively reaching out. My distinguished colleague, Mr. Marcin Ciche, head of the Polish Office of Electronic Communications, is a newly appointed commissioner in UN Broadband Commission. And, and in the past years, we have actively taken part in a number of regional initiatives as well as bilateral programs, aiming at sharing best practices and facilitating the development of innovative technologies. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to announce that the Republic of Poland is a candidate to for the re-election to the I2 Council in Region C. And I don't hesitate to say that in the last couple of years we have gained numerous experiences in a dynamically changing ICT ecosystem. We wish to continue bringing them to the ITU as ITU can improve access and the quality of telecommunication services. Poland has always been an active member of ITU and for the last two terms of the ITU Council. I humbly ask for your support and do hope we will be able to work together for the connected and smart future of the whole world. Shukram leikti mamikum.